ago I made a video comparing the human eye to a camera. Despite being one of the more popular videos on my channel, it's not very good. So this week I wanted to go over a couple of things that I skipped over or missed in that video, and take it in sort of a different direction. Where's my, uh... <coughs> dynamic range. The human eye has a very high dynamic range compared to a camera. If you're looking at the horizon on a bright day, you can see both the sky and the land, which is not something that you can do with the camera. The human eye also has extremely fast autofocus. We're able to switch our point of view from one depth to another almost instantaneously. There are cameras that can also autofocus almost instantly, such as the Google Pixels camera. The eye also has very fast automatic exposure, usually. The eye will also give you an almost perfectly stable shot. You want to get a Saving Private Ryan type handheld shot with your eye? You can't. It's not possible. It's too steady. This is because we're able to keep our eyes locked on one point all the time. Also because the eye is the base for white balance, it has perfect white balance. But the biggest difference here in my opinion is that a camera gives you control over your image. Because you have control of ISO, shutter speed, frame rate, etc you have the ability to alter what the image looks like. This control basically allows you to be creative. I think the biggest thing I missed in the last video was that I talked so much about the visual differences, mechanical differences, basically the differences in almost specs. If cameras were exactly like the human eye, film wouldn't be anything stylistically. Film has developed a style completely different from what we actually experience in real life. Black and white, teal and orange, shaky camera shots, these are all things that you never see with your own eyes. Another big advantage here is that the artistic and stylistic abilities of a camera over the human eye allow us to show other senses that we can't. In real life, you have sight, you have sound, you have taste, you have smell, you can even sense temperature, but in film, you have visuals and you have sound. And that's it. That's all you have to work with. Thankfully, being able to alter the mechanics of a camera gives us stylistic and artistic choice to be able to show these other senses. Just look at how we use color to convey temperature. How many times have you seen a scene in the movie or a show where a character is on drugs and distortion is used to show that they're kind of queasy and disoriented? All of this is just using cameras. We haven't even talked about lens choice or different types of camera movements. Basically, cameras allow us to convey other senses and show new perspectives that we can't see otherwise. The human eye gives us a near perfect image that can never be altered. And cameras have the ability and the choice to either imitate this or embrace their differences and show us something that we haven't seen before. The eye is one of many senses that we have as humans. Cameras, we don't have all of those senses, but we can use the ones that we do have creatively to imply the others. I would go as far as to say that's basically what cinematography is, is showing non-visual senses visually. Anyway, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and share it with your friends. Also subscribe because I make new videos like this every week. And last week I made a cinematic video that I shot at the beach and it took a really long time to edit. And there was a lot of footage, I had like 250 shots for it, anyway you should go watch it. I also released a bunch of phone cases online, I'm still releasing a lot of those. I'm talking too fast, and I'll see you next week.